Hi, good day everybody. This video was created to demonstrate some of the technicalities involved in the creation of the Panama Canal. It was one of the greatest engineering marvels of that time. A man, a plan, a canal, Panama. What's so special about this phrase? If you were to take a look at the map of Central America, you'll find a narrow strip of land connects North America with South America. Then this portion is known as Central America. In Central America, there is a country called Panama. And this portion, the strip of land is the narrowest. On the south, we have the Pacific Ocean. And in the north, we have the Caribbean Sea and the Atlantic Ocean. This is the place where the Panama Canal is situated. A point to be noted is that though the strip of land is very narrow, this portion of the land is very mountainous, very rocky and very densely overgrown with trees and bushes. And at that time, it was a monumental task to dig a canal connecting the Pacific Ocean with the Caribbean Sea. However, way back in 1903, A French engineer by the name of Ferdinand Mario de Lesseps came up with a bold plan. He decided, why not dig a canal connecting the Pacific Ocean to the Caribbean Sea in the Atlantic Ocean? By doing this, the ships will not have to go all the way across the southern part of South America through the Cape of Horn, Cape Horn. Rather, it will go through the Panama Canal. And that's what gave rise, gave birth to the idea of the Panama Canal. However, within a few months or almost a year of starting the project, he had to abandon the project because many of his people who were working, they began to die from mosquitoes, bites, yellow fever, malaria, and all the rest of it. And therefore, the project had to be abandoned by the French. And in 1904 or so, the Americans took over and they built the Panama Canal over a period of 10 years. Welcome to the Panama Canal. So this is a view of the modern day Panama Canal. And if you see on the far right side is a big artificial lake which is made of fresh water. And this is a further closer view of the Panama Canal. If you look carefully, you will notice a pair of electric locomotives on either banks of the Panama Canal. These locomotives serve a very special purpose. The next thing we notice are a pair of V-shaped gates, which are on the right side of the canal. And on the left side, we notice that the water level is at a much lower level than on the right side. The water level on the right side is much higher and the water level on the left side is much lower, as you can see in this picture very clearly. Not only that, we also see a barge being towed across the lower portion of the canal. The water levels are different because the bed of the canal is at different levels. Because of the rocky nature of the ground, they could not build the entire canal at one level. So therefore, certain portions of the canal at a higher level and certain portions of the canal are at a lower level. Now, the implication of this is that once the ship reaches the higher portion of the canal, the water has to be filled on the lower portion so that the water level becomes equal on both the sides and only then the ship can move over from the right side to the left side. Before that, of course, the gates have to open up. Here you can see a ship coming from the right side. As it comes closer and closer, we will notice one, the electric locomotives will be guiding the ship right in the center of the canal. Two, we will see that it will slowly stop the water level on the right side will decrease, will go down. Concomitantly, the water level on the left side of the canal will go up till the two levels become equal. Then the gate, the two V-shaped gates will open up and the ship will move from the right side of the canal to the left side of the canal. All these you will see in greater detail in the subsequent series of videos, which of course are, have been dubbed in Spanish by the background voiceover. Finally, I would like to draw your attention to this artificial lake which I mentioned earlier. It is filled with fresh water and a series of sluice gates are there in the foreground. 
These sluice gates drain off the excess water during the rainy season so that the level in the artificial lake remains constant. And this locomotive that you see here in the next picture, this was used by the French to remove the earth and the rock which was dug up and they were used to fill an artificial island in the Panama. In this video section of the video you will notice the ship which I had mentioned earlier it's slowly coming from the right side from the lake and it'll come and as it is being brought remember one thing the ship is not being towed by the electric locomotives it is moving under its own power the electric locomotives on either side are holding it exactly in the midline by means of taut cables the reason is because the ship is very wide and it's likely to touch and break the banks and therefore it has to be held exactly in the middle line so that it does not move on either side and break the banks of the ship. As you watch you will find that it will come to a stop. The water level on this right side of the canal will slowly come down and you will see the ship going down and concomitantly the water level on the left side will rise up till both the levels become equal and then in the last series of the videos you will see that the two V-shaped gates will open up and the ship will move from the right to the left. So this is the whole mechanism by which the Panama Canal functions and it serves 35 to 40 ships per day. In this section of the video, you'll notice three things. One, the water level on the right side of the canal has come down drastically till it has become level with the water level in the left side of the canal you see the opening up of the V-shaped gates and you will notice how the two electric locomotives on the front and similarly two electric locomotives at the back of the ship by means of taut cables they are holding the ship exactly in the middle line. So this in a nutshell is the functioning, the creation and the functioning of the Panama Canal which is considered a, really a feat of engineering. Thank you very much for watching.